Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I go by the name me myself and I epic it was. Remember to like and share to this amazing video. If someone calls you oh brony, <laughs> okay. If someone calls you oh brony, uh -huh. um, do you get offended? So I'm gonna say this, and I and I hope that the Ghanaians who don't see the offense in it actually listen to the words that are coming out of my mouth, so they can hear it from a person who is offended by being called a brony. Okay. As we've mentioned, we've already established that I am a descendant of the transatlantic slave trade, okay. which means that my people were kidnapped from this country and sold, and now I have returned. So my descendants, my ancestry is in West Africa, and uh, specifically in the, Ghana, in the Ghana area, right? Okay, so for that reason alone, I'm not a foreigner. Okay. Okay, now yes, I have this accent, I'm not talking like you, mm -hmm. I, you know. Uh, yes, maybe even my skin is a little fair. Some people say, oh, even us Ghanaians, we're called a Bruni because you're fair. Oh. My skin may be fair, mm -hmm. fairer, but I, in all cases, I am still a black woman okay. that has descendants and ties to uh, Ghana and to West Africa. So I'm not a foreigner. I'm not a white woman. And so it is offensive. And a lot of the diaspora has this issue. And even when I've tried explaining to friends of mine who love me dearly okay. and they think, oh, it's just a joke. I tell them it's offensive, it's offensive. because it, the actual translation, if you research it, isn't isn't foreigner, a term that was used that means like white. So wow. so, so so what you're saying when you're calling me, calling me an Abruni is you rather are identifying with the people who kidnapped me you're, you're calling imagine imagine that a, a child mm -hmm. is kidnapped from her her family right mm -hmm. stolen the identity and then somehow she escapes and she comes home and everyone is calling her by the the surname or the last name of the person who has kidnapped and raped and abused her and refusing to call her by whatever her native uh name is and so that's much in the way that that i and other people from the diaspora take offense is mm -hmm. because you have reserved this name whether it's derogatory or it's a term of endearment whatever it is it stems from some back the 17th century where uh, the native uh, Ghanaians were being introduced to f white people for the first time realized that they were and called them white devils basically and coined this phrase and now over time, it has changed and it's taken on different terms, but it still has the same. Much like, can I say nigger? Nigger? <laughs> you okay. know? That, yeah. Just like that. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Yo, nigga, what's up? Yeah. I don't, I, I get offended if you were to say that word. Wow. Okay. Because I know what, where that came from. You okay. know where that came from, right? You don't just think it's a phrase. You know, in, in Ghana, we don't take as a nigger as in a strong word, like as, as an offensive, like, oh, like, yo, nigga, what's Whoa. up? What's good? You understand? <laughs> so we don't take it like so offensive, because like, it's not oh, you. my God, why are mm. you calling me that name? Why are you calling me the N word and all oh. that? You understand? So it's offensive. Why is it offensive to you? Because Can you explain it to us? So nigger. Mm -hmm. is derived from the word nigger mm -hmm. the slang term is really the word nigger okay. and nigger was the coined phrase that uh america's used to call black people is very slaves is very offensive it was a derogatory it's the worst name that you could call a black person is a nigger so what happened is over time you know black people we're creative Mm -hmm. And but also because we've went through slavery, we have a and, colo and even Ghanaians like with colonialism, mm -hmm. we have a sense of self hate. Wow. So we in our slang English call each other nigger. But even when we was calling each other nigger, it was offensive back in the day. Okay. Oh, nigger, master told you you need to go da 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 da. You know he's just re he's just regurgitating what he heard the slave owners say. Oh. So nigger, you need to go do da 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 da. It was derogatory, but over time it's changed. Rappers started to use it, and now it, it's nigga means like. Yo. What does it mean? Like my friend, <laughs> nigga. Imagine, like, nigga means my friend. Like you, like something like that. Like Charlie, what's up? Like we say Charlie. Yes, I know that. No problem. Yeah, like my friend mm -hmm. Charlie, something like that. Yeah, you understand. 
Tyler doesn't have negative connotations and a negative mm. history. Nigger does, and the the broken way of saying nigger is to say nigger, and it was used as a way to oppress and to demean black people. So now that black people have taken ownership of the word, okay. um, and they say it, and it sounds like brother, it's still offensive. It's still offensive. And to <laughs> prove that it's offensive, let a white person say, yo, what's up, my nigger? Hmm. There will be a fight in the United States, I guarantee you. White people can't say the word nigga in the wow. United States. If there's, they're rapping lyrics and it's some, some, they, they bleep that word. They, they don't say it wow. because it's offensive. So just because I can say it doesn't even give you the permission it. to say it because you haven't lived through the experience and know what it's called to to be a nigger you've never been a nigger in the united states and so even when i hear Ghanaians say nigger and i know that they they're being they're being they don't they don't mean it in the way that a white person would say it it's just you don't know the weight and the burden that comes with being a nigger and it's and it's the same and so with a bruni the word had negative connotations of the word that was being used to call white people and now you're you're giving it calling me the same thing that you call you know a white person it's really important for us to be educated in this kind of things it's really necessary because most of us we use niggas anyhow we want it we use nigga bro bro nigga Nigga. We use the N-word. <laughs> we oh, use the N-word word. anywhere. Like, yeah. oh, Charlie, what's up? Nigga, what's up now? You did on oh, my day now. I oh, what is going on? We understand. So, those are some of the things that goes on and goes on and goes on. But we never know the story. It's confusing because you mm. hear it in rap music, so you think that it's one way. But the average black American takes mm -hmm. offense to the word nigga. Well, definitely nigger that will get your ass beat wow okay but even saying nigger is very offensive to black people even when another black person says it but much more when a non-black american, american says it yeah. so even though you and i are the same color yeah. you know you saying it it rubs me the wrong way i don't oh. like it what's the best way for us to stop all this thing because right now we know the negative aspects you've educated us and all that what's the best way for us to move from grass to grace i think there needs to really be a cultural exchange between the diaspora community and uh, the african community or in this case the ghanaian uh, community where we can really take time and appreciate each other's culture mm -hmm. and give respect to what we've had to go through to get here and i yeah. think that is something that's really missing here uh, specifically in the ghana education system, system. that they they're not aware of of like who, who black americans are i met some Ghanaians who think like we're american like mm -hmm. like that's that's our home country of origin they don't even know about the slave trade or know mm. any of those things and so when you're ignorant oh. on the things that connect us it strengthens the things that divide us i see i see so right now um, we have to be educated in both the school and all that so that we can be able to be stand strongly to defend what is ours, right? Together, yeah. Together. We, we have to be educated to, to know about what our commonalities are. There's a lot more things that we all have in common than the few things like my accent. That's the if if I keep my mouth closed this whole time, they'll think, oh, she's interview, she, he's interviewing a Ghanaian. But it's when yeah. I open my mouth, you you make this big deal out of just Whoa. my accent and say that we're so different, but mm. we are so much more alike than just my accent. And I really appreciate the fact that you're able to uh, express yourself and your emotion in this. Um, Obroni and the N word as well. I really appreciate it. And if you're out there, please let's educate ourselves not to use these words on our lovely sisters, brothers, aunties, uncles, daddy, mommy who are coming back to the continent. Especially we are in Ghana. We shouldn't use that word ever. Never ever use that word on them. Thank you. They don't like it. I hate they it. hate it. <laughs> is there any? I'm always curious. Is there any like? Is there any type of word that is derogatory that Ghanaians say to each other, or maybe something that has come from colonialism that is a 
and like a negative word like what's the meanest thing that you could call mm. someone Hmm. Y'all don't have that? If you don't have that, I don't think so. If you know there is wow. any phrase like that, let me know in the comment section. The fact that there's not is probably why people don't understand why we could take offense to some of these words. Is because yeah. you, you, you guys don't even talk to each other like that. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That the worst thing you could call someone maybe is like a bitch. <laughs> yeah, but 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 anyone that's not specific to a race or a mm -hmm. nationality or a tribe. That's just an insult. Yeah. But imagine having an insult that is specific to an, a tribe. Yeah. But it's really even hard for us to be in the fights and those kind of things. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really like very hard for us to be. Just that the economy is not that good. You understand? Just like that. That is how I feel. But if the economy is really good, I feel like Ghana is going to be great. Sure. Because we don't have that fight going on. Like, oh, this one is this, so I'm going to fight with this. Or you're going to do this, you're going to do that. You understand? It's like mm -hmm. we, are, we are trying our best to be in one I think lane. that's something that is beautiful and very unique as far as what I've researched with other African countries and that's mm. something that Kwame Nkrumah really did well in instilling Ghanaians calling them Ghanaians and mm. he kind of took everyone still has their own unique identity and yeah. the Ghanaians see themselves I think as Ghanaian first and then maybe even their tribes and that creates a type mm. of unity to where y'all can't even think to have negative words to call a particular person associated with a tribe or or whatever and so uh that's something that i think is special about ghana because there, there are other countries uh in west africa that are going through a lot of civil issues between mm. tribes and it's not even quite safe to be in some of those countries but yeah. that's that's like that is not a fear of mine at all yeah. that there could be some type of civil unrest between tribes here in ghana yeah, that is really true all right so it's so nice that i have you on my youtube channel and whatever that you've talked about really makes sense and it's really fun educative and natural you understand because the emotions and all that is part of it if you like what i said then you can go to my <laughs> to keys to sankofa if you don't like it just leave those comments on his page go to big big sankofa the big the big sankofa it's an amazing place to be so please go there and go subscribe like and share as well thank you so much for joining epic was it was nice to be nice and it was nice to have you on epic it was thank you once again charlie in it in it <laughs> all right thank you all right.